Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today I don't know what we've got. I'm not sure what to call this video, whether it's a roller dice or a mega haul or I don't know. Um, you also may be wondering why you're at a strange angle today. And that's because this box is so big. It weighs a big 5.7 kilos. Um, I think that's about 12 pounds in American. Uh, lots of Australiana there, Australian Olympics or Olympic teams. Um, feels like I'm in a time warp, Christmas 1978. Somebody decided that stamp collecting was no longer for them and uh, used their prized stamps to post this box to me. Um, little. Australian history there, some Prime Ministers from the oldie times. Don't really care about stamps, I care about matchbox cars, so I think I'll reposition you so you get a better view, just a little bit. And I'll open up this box and then I'll all sit down to join Splendour. I like to reuse these boxes um, for posting things, obviously. So I'll be a little bit more careful than I am with five packs. That's got it done. So, anyway, what I'll do will be like that. Um, Holy moly, these are um, all loose. Most of them are loose. So I'll bring you down here, pull up my stool. I think I'll turn off that light. Gee, all these adjustments. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Going down to basement level. And talk about a behind the scenes tour. How you doing there? Getting dizzy? Okay. Uh, yep, we're good. Put my specs on. Rock and roll. Alrighty. And we're going to be here for a long time. Settle in. Grab a cuppa. Oh, wow. Good. Oh man, there's a lot of military stuff here. Um, okay, then just a little bit more. How's that? Lost your lunch yet? This might be a, a two video thing. Oh, oh good, oh. Alrighty, let's get into it. So, military, boom. Now attack. Hot Wheels. <laughs> Would Hot Wheels attack Matchbox? I don't think so. We're all friends, aren't we? Um, I've got this in mint condition, and now I've got this in wobbly condition. I'll have to doctor that up somehow. But uh, these aren't really play worn. I don't know uh, what the dealio was. It's dusty. But um, a damp rag fixes that. There's no play wear on these wheels. That's the personnel carrier um, from the 70s, and of course, that's the Jeep, made in England. A lot of these are made in England, and I've just spotted the civilian variant. Um, gliding club, obviously it came with the glider attached. I don't know if that's in here. Oh, wow. Focus, Tyrone. Focus. Yeah, just a little bit dusty. Um, this is one of those things I saw online. Ah, uh, it's chipped as well, this one. So a bit of play wear, whereas this is pretty good. Maybe it's just a better paint job. How exciting. See, that's how you make a steering wheel. 
Hmm. Yeah, this used to have a, a glider with it. Um, not anymore, perhaps. But we'll see how we go. Ah. Another one with a, a non loosey goosey gun. Good. I bought one of these while on holiday in England, um, maybe 18 months ago now, two years ago, just before the pandemic ripped through. Um, as he shows you a third one, Jeepers Creepers. Um, and it came mint in box, but these are fairly mint loose. So I'm digging this day and they all roll, nothing's buckled. Oh wow, a bit of deja vu. We've got a platoon here, folks. This is bolstering my military collection by many, obviously. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy. Have you seen one of these before? It's a Jeep with a gun. Oh wow. This one's a bit dustier than the others. Maybe it saw some more action in the desert. Who knows? Hockey dokey. You know how um, some things just get you going? Well, I'm going. Have you seen one of these before? It's a Jeep with a gun on it. And this one's far less dusty. Oh, I don't know. Thought it had a bunged up wheel, but nope. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready for anything. Ready for anything. A few stationary guns. I do have this one mint in box, but um, hmm, that plastic. Wants to snap off. Doesn't want to sit right. We'll keep it like that. What have we got in the bottom? Uh, made in England, Matchbox Lesney Products. Doesn't actually describe what it is. It's an artillery gun, obviously, with soldier and radioman. So we'll put him in the bag just in case things really get heavy. Speaking of heavy, we've got two of them. Um, speaking of heavy, we've got three of them. I hope I'm not becoming predictable. What else have we got? Oh, wow. Let's see, that's the loose, um, that's the non-gun version. Let's put him back in there. It's like uh, the captain rocks up to see how things are going. Wonderful. It's another artillery, artillery, artillery piece. Yeah, I call it my Narnia. Um, when I get going, you can't get a lot of sense out of me. And Today I've just got there real soon because um, I love my military, I love Matchbox and when the two come together who knows what happens. So, hey looky here, looky here. Oh goodness me. So this is the Badger. I've got this one, I think it's uh, like a copper red. And uh, I've wanted the military one for a long time. And here we are. It's got a bit of shelf dust to it and it's roller Maddox. Yeah. Oh, need a a little slippery service. There you go. Kind of. Doing, doing, doing. Uh, another personnel carrier. 
These are absolutely mint, apart from a slight amount of dust. Stoked. I was up um, in the Vines, which is quite a posh suburb of Perth. Um, I went up there to buy a collection, a whole collection, and they had them all laid out on the coffee ta on the dining table. And uh, instead of doing what I do these days and just say how much for the lot, I just picked and sort of haggled piece by piece and were there a long time um, until I ran out of money, almost. And uh, they were happy, I was happy. It was a good day. Uh, but I left a lot on the table, literally. I left a lot on their dining room table. And this was among them, the Mercedes. Um, there we are. No, was, they just call it the Mercedes truck. Um, can't remember if it had blue tinted windows or not. Probably. Don't know. But I regretted it, and that was about four years ago. And I regretted it for a long time, leaving stuff there. And. Uh, Hey, hey, wow. Oh, these are old. These are really old. I have the civilian version of this in the tanker. What do we got? Just says wreck truck. Oh, wow. Oh, that is no seat warmer. That is the real deal. There's no chips on that. The hook is in place. The wheels are fine. No play wear on the wheels. The light is good. Stoked. Oh, this is one I've never had. What have we here? Can you read that? I can't. Uh, even with my Stalwart, there we go. Elvis Stalwart. Didn't they do a BP tanker version of this? No chips, you beauty. Those really, really old style wheels. Wow. Oh my lord. What else? There's, there's another pocket of military. There's a lot of military here. There's another loose one. Gee whiz. Just needs a dust. Gee whiz. See what happens sometimes when you just say I'll take the lot. Um, this really could have been a um, roll the dice because the photos weren't great. Um, I've bought off this seller before. I've bought a lot of stuff off, off this seller before. Only ever communicated via text message. And um, there's a trust between us because everything he's sent me so far has been, as we say in Australia, rigid edge. Um, Oh, brilliant. Here's a couple of play-worn ones. Is this the weasel? I think this is the weasel. Um, yeah, that's the weasel. Got a bunch of this. Came in um, this colour and a very out there green. A very non-military bright, bright green. Um, this one's play-worn, obviously. But this one is not. Holy smoke. And we've just scratched the surface. Oh, we didn't go, we didn't cover this one. This is the stoat. So I've got this in. Will he turn around? Kind of. Um, I've got this in a couple of colours, including this one as well. There he goes. I don't see no ship. 
Well, you wouldn't, mate. You're in the desert. Uh, and there is a play one one as well. Wow. Any more military while we're on this? Oh, lordy. Oh, I think I got myself a big old bargain here. Okay. And lo and behold, I think oh, there is so much military. Diecast Dude, big shout out to you. Diecast Dude loves his military. Um, so do I. And um, he asked me a long time ago to do a military video. And um, I still haven't done it yet. Maybe I, I should. But um, just for Diecast Dude's entertainment. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Okay, so the rubber's knackered. As you can see, uh, this is, what do we call this? Um, oh, SP gun. See? Yeah, so, I wonder if we can get that to work even if the tracks are not good. No, the tracks just peeled off. The rubber just perishes over time. These are really old. Um, I do believe you can get replacement tracks. So I'll look into that. And a couple of swamp rats. Um, I have two swamp rats, but not with this livery. So this is exciting. Yeah. Yeah, see the sticker along the, the yeah bottom there. Mine is in dark green. Yeah, gun's a little bit bent. Nothing serious. And that one with the perfect gun. Holy mackerel, Batman. Wow, so these are all 70s. Oh, just when it was safe to come out of the kitchen. Got some more military. There is a lot of gear in this box. Oh. Need backup? We'll get the other one out of the way, you're spoiling the view. Oh. You know when you have a busy life and you only get half information you, and you wind up saying yes to everything, don't you? Well, I'm glad I said yes to this. Yep, this one's the same as the other one. The, the tracks are not great. They're really gone. Just takes, yeah, they've just fallen apart in my hand. Um, it's just a, a thing with age and this material. But I'll source some new tracks. I don't think I'll be getting them in that colour though. And again, exactly the same. Perfect model, buggered tracks. No biggie, but I think the, the replacements will be black. And one again. What's going on there? Yeah. So, a sea of military. We'll just keep going with the military and then we'll get to a bunch of civilian stuff, a whole bunch of civilian stuff. Man, give me some room here, folks. Oh, speaking of black tracks, yeah, see, look at that. The black tracks stand up better. They're roughly the same age, but the the um, black tracks lasted a lot longer. Awesome. Yep, and another one. 
black tracks intact. Just a little more supple. And one again with brown tracks gone. They were clearly improving as they went. Black tracks will look better anyway. And it looks like one more pouch. Oh, there's so many here. Another personnel carrier. I'm ready for anything. What else? Huh. Okay, one more pouch of military. <laughs> I'll say that all day, I think. What have we got? Oh, good. Now the stoat, was that the stoat? Stoat, yep. You'll need a bit of a clean up, but no play wear. And what else? Need another stoat? Yes, I do. Um, and of course, another stoat. So, I wonder how many vehicles that are in a platoon. About that many? I don't know. Um, we've got an ancient old truck. Um, make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. This is the eight wheel tipper. Play one. I think I'm going to send this for a reboot, or refurb, I'll think about that, but I think, holy smoke, that's 22 minutes, all on military, and there's more military, let's, I'll dig out all the military, and I'll split it into different, oh wow, we're going to be here for a while. Another personnel carrier. Need another personnel carrier? Here's one. Is that dusty? Yeah, it's not play worn, just a bit of dust. These are all out of shot, there's so many of them. And why don't we go for this one? Get that out of the way. Yeah. Even if I spot another military one, I think I'll cut the video in two. Here's another weasel. I absolutely love this casting. Um, and they carried it on, at least in the US market, for a long time. Or they brought it back, at least, just for the US market. Another one. And another one. Somebody was into their military. It's got maybe playwear. Can't tell. Maybe a little. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, I'll chop this video in half and um, get on to the civilian stuff, even if there is the odd military one in there. Um, we've got a lot to get through, folks. Stay tuned.